The other day, I was hired to film a soccer game between two of the biggest clubs in the world, Manchester United and Crystal Palace. But here's the twist. The promoter now wants me to edit a game recap video, but since the stakes are so high, I decided to use this opportunity to prove a point. I get asked all the time by people just getting into sports videography what editing platform I use to edit my videos. And when I tell them that I'm a Premiere Pro user and they look up how much it costs, they automatically get discouraged. So I decided to edit this game recap on a free editing software to prove the point that you can still edit great sport videos without spending any money. In fact, I already edited the video and here's what it looks like. Whoa! Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Got to me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it because you all kept like. Let's see with his right boot. Nice pass. The low. The low. with plum. He looks razor sharp in pre-season. He really is getting into the goal scoring groove ahead of the new campaign. All right, so I've done my research and there's actually more than just one free editing software that's good enough to make a video like the one you just saw. So before I tell you which one I used in this case, let me start by giving you my top three free editing software to produce sports videos. By the way, my top three is in no particular order because any of these really could be your top one. It just depends on what your priorities are. But obviously, my favorite is the one I used to edit the game recap. And also all three software offer a free version, but also a paid version. And you can edit uh, without any issues with all uh, three free versions, but there are limitations when it comes to exporting, which I'll touch on in a minute. So the first editing software I recommend is PowerDirector. It is a good software for beginners, especially because it offers all the professional tools listed on your screen right now. And in my opinion, having the ability to do things like keying, masking, image stabilization, motion tracking, audio mixing, color grading, to me, that's all you really need to produce professional sports videos. The thing with PowerDirector though, is that it is almost too user friendly for its own good. All the tools I just listed before are there, but in a very simplistic form. So you can do things like keying or color grading, for example, but there's a limit to how far you can take them. So depending on the complexity of your edit, if your goal is to make super high quality stuff, PowerDirector might not be able to take you all the way there. Also, it's worth mentioning that it is available on both PC and Mac, that the free version will add a watermark to all your exports, and that the paid version in its cheapest form requires a single payment of $99 US. But on top of that, they do offer a subscription service that gives you access to a bunch of templates and as a beginner, that can be very helpful. So if you're a total newbie to video editing and you're looking for a platform easy to learn and to use, PowerDirector could be the one for you as long as you're okay with having watermarks on your videos or paying a hundred bucks to get rid of them. DaVinci Resolve is another free editing software that I recommend because it is by far the most professional free editing software on the market. With Resolve, you have access to all the tools and features listed on your screen right now, which include world-class color grading tools, because that's what Resolve is known for, first and foremost. The only issue with Resolve is actually the opposite of uh, PowerDirector's problem. Um, Resolve is not very user-friendly, especially not for beginners. There's obviously tons of tutorials available online to help you learn it, but there is a very steep learning curve if you're starting from scratch. But on the other hand, as I said, the tools are very professional and allow you to take your edit as far as you want to. You can even export without any watermark with the free version. 
So the paid version is not even that necessary unless you want to unlock features like noise removal, motion blur, um, GPU acceleration, and a few others only available in DaVinci Resolve Studio for a single payment of $295 US. So if you are an experienced editor who doesn't want to spend a lot of money on Premiere Pro or on a Mac computer to access Final Cut, which is not that cheap either, um, yeah, in that case, Resolve is definitely a good option for you. But as a beginner, I'm just afraid that if you start with Resolve, you might end up just quitting editing altogether just because of how complex and scary this platform can be. The third free editing software I recommend, the one that I used to make the game recap you saw at the start, is Wondershare Filmora, which also happens to be the sponsor of this video. But just to be clear, this is not the reason I picked Filmora as my main recommendation, it's actually the other way around. I was happy to take them on board as a sponsor because Filmora was already the software that I was recommending to all the beginners who reached out to me in my DMs and in the comment section of my YouTube videos and in our sports videography community on Facebook. Every time a beginner would ask me what uh, editing software they should start with, Filmora has always been my answer. So when they contacted me about making a video about it, I thought it was a no brainer. Because basically, if you allow me to use the Goldilocks and the Three Bears analogy, Resolve is too hard, PowerDirector is too soft, and Filmora is just right. It's the perfect balance of professional tools and user friendliness. In other words, a great place to start that can also take you quite far in your editing journey. Just like the other two platforms, it has the tools and features you need to create great content. You may not be able to push the complexity of certain features like keying and color grading as far as you would in Resolve, for example, but you can still achieve much more complex and professional videos than you would with PowerDirector without having to give up anything on the user-friendly side of things. It basically feels like they took a professional editing software and stripped it down just enough to be user-friendly for beginners. As I said, this is the platform I use to make the video you're watching right now. So if you're a beginner and you like what you see, Filmora is a no-brainer for you. It's available on both PC and Mac. The free version does come with a watermark on the exports though, so I obviously use the paid version to export my video. But the paid version is actually cheaper than both PowerDirector and Resolve at a very affordable $79.99 US. And personally, I was particularly impressed with the speed ramping feature and how easy it is to use because um, I, it actually took me a lot longer than I would like to admit to learn how to do speed ramping in Premiere Pro. But in this case, it was super easy and quite effective. There's also a bunch of presets there that can save you some time, but even if you start from scratch, it's super easy to do and can get you amazing results. There's also a bunch of templates available inside the editing platform to help you create all sorts of elements and titles, which is super helpful if you don't know much about graphic animation. To give you an example, all the title sequences you saw in this video were made in Filmora with templates. As I said many times before in previous videos, there ain't no shame in the template game. If they take you where you need to go and allow you to learn in the process, templates can be a very powerful thing. So if you're a beginner looking for an editing platform that you can easily be comfortable with within an hour or so of using it for the first time, but also won't hold you back once you get better at it, I believe that Filmora is your best option. But don't just take my word for it, there's a link in the description that you can use to download Filmora for free. So try it out, see if you like it, and if you do, then eventually just get the paid version. Anyway, now that you know which editing platform to use, obviously the next step is to learn what to do with it. So I encourage you to click on the video appearing on your screen right now for five easy tips that will help you edit amazing sports videos in no time. It's an old video though, so please don't judge me on how it looks.